Alright, what I'm going to go over right here is the Leica Viva CS10 and GS15 student guide that I uh, put together this semester. Um, right here is just a little forward for myself about what this manual is to be used for and how to use it. Um, the contents in it is produced GPS equipment, how to get started using CS10 controller and surveying, linking the rover to the Kanoi Hall base station and linking the rover to the base for real-time kinematic surveying. These two are going to be the, probably the most technical of the sec section because um, right here we'll talk about produced GPS equipment. This describes what we own at the department and how to use it all. Um, the base station at Kanoi Hall, um, they have a Pat Crest RTK base station up on the roof. It actually is what you can use to survey anywhere on campus without actually having to set up uh, your own independent base station. Um, I configured all the equipment this semester to work with it all, but if anything does get um, changed or anything, you can use section four um, to reconfigure that. Also describes the um, radio antenna and base equipment that we have, because if you set up the base um, just simply by itself, it has a range of about one to two miles. If you need a greater range than that and you're gonna be working pretty far off campus, you can actually set up this radio system as well. And so let's go over to getting started. What this will talk about is how to assemble your equipment, um, the equipment functions and operation, um, how to use it, good practices, um, and then moving on, we have the using the CS10 controller and surveying using GPS. What this will talk about is a lot of my previous video about how to actually use the go to work functions, the survey functions, stake out, um, the survey plus tools, um, tells you a little bit about each one of those. How to, this in detail right here, tells you how to determine your coordinate system, goes on onto the next page right here. This will be key in helping you determine your coordinate system off the base station at Kenoy Hall. Um, it's very important you orientate it correctly too, I and mean, all your points are going in as um, northings and eastings in the correct orientation. Um, also right here describes how to use the Kogo feature, um, jobs and data, how to use different functions in there. Um, instrument, how you can set up the instrument, the link to the different pieces of equipment. Um, and the user function, which is just a little bit of administrative stuff right there. Nice little graphic for you. Um, right here, this section describes how to link the rover to Kanoi Hall base station. This section will be key if anything ever gets changed, because this is exactly how you configure the rover and the CS10 to work with the Kanoi Hall base station. Um, everything right here is very detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Um, just going through here, this will tell you exactly how to do it, um, what your 3D quality should be, all the uh, specific settings for the radio antenna right here. And then moving on, um, this is linking the rover and base for real-time chromatic surveying. It's, currently it says to be developed because we're still working on getting the licensing issues worked out. Um, hopefully by the time you, the end user, gets this, that should be worked out. You should be able to use it. Um, describes how to set up the base in the field and uh, setting up the base of CS10 and how to link it together. And then there's information and references right here, um, who to contact. Um, user, like there's different user manuals. You'll be able to use this as a tool. Like his website contains a lot of great information as well. And also, Care Company is our supplier of this equipment. And you want to get in contact with Eric Kara. Um, his contact information is right here. He's a great help and support in helping us set up this equipment. And moving on, um, the last thing you should know is the Purdue Corps website, which is the base station on top of Kenora Hall. This will tell you how to use and uh, utilize the core station top and that's really all there is to our manual so can you can you click on that hot link yeah bring it up and what this is right here this is actually the Purdue uh, continuously operating reference station website um, tells you right here where exactly we are um, how the global positioning system works um, we're actually on the National Genetic Survey Coordinates Network, um, Purdue Site Info. This is actually a picture, an older picture of our system right here. Um, it's on top of Kanoi Hall. Like I said, it's all set up in the equipment already, how to use it. Some more um, information about it. Um, right here is where you access the raw data at. So like let's say for Friday, May 6th, we wanted to check the data for that you can actually see all the data taken all these different times. 
and they're all zip files, so you can download those and view those as you please. Um, and this link right here will actually take you to the National Geodetic Survey website, where if you go to cores right here, you can enter our site ID. PRD, PRDU. PRDU. Which actually brings up our, our website, which include has all information about it. Um, tells you different views of the equipment right here. Which one be this is actually this is actually the most current picture of our GPS receiver. Um, it's a newer newer Leica rover model. Um, tells you a little bit about all the different photos of the equipment. Actually, our Purdue Core's um, station right here, where it's receiving and correcting data. Um, right here, you have your coordinates, data sheets, which you can view right here. It tells you northings, eastings, corrections, everything about movement, different epochs, a lot of information here. And that really about covers everything about the manual and the Purdue Core station. So, Click on the 60 day while you're at it. The 60 day? Mm hmm. Right there on the left. Light there. Yeah. And it's not displaying right now. Fortunately, the 60 day is not working at the I moment. I can cut that out. <laughs> All right. Sounds good.